Yeah, I'm on. We gonna talk about rituals again. Because it's a deep topic. You know. I can talk all day about that shit. Like that right there. This right here. That's a ritual. <laughs> That's magic. <laughs> I feel the same way every time I do that shit. So. Yeah, like. When it comes to making your own rituals. What's up with you? <laughs> yeah, when it comes to making your own rituals. Like. You just got to, don't force it. Don't force it like, all right, I'm about to go make a ritual. Nah, just be. Just be. <laughs> Simply just be. And once you stumble upon that moment, because it's going to come. Once you stumble upon that moment where you just feel like, you just feel like that. Like, that's, all, that's the only way I can explain it. Like, you just feel like... Hmm, just good. Like, you having fun. You vibrating high. Time's flying. I'm tripping. That's how you identify that. When time's flying. When you just can do something. When you feel like you can do this for... Uh, just, you don't even got to worry about how long you doing it. Just... I could do this shit for hours. Them damn birds, bro. They be singing. <laughs> I um yeah though <laughs> real life um so yeah like don't force it just wait till you naturally stumble upon that moment and then embrace it realize what it is about that that makes you feel that way yeah I get, I got there through the birds, you know, and there is a sense of peacefulness. Like I said, it's just like that. It's like, it ain't no, ah, it ain't nothing. It's just, if you notice, I kind of talk with my hands a lot. I kind of noticed it, like, while I was looking at the videos, uploading them and shit like that. I talk with my hands a lot. And this, I have, I have my, uh, my rituals to where I'm just, you know, I don't move my hands as much. I just, you know, I got, you know, type shit. It's just peacefulness. Then I can think about what I want to move my hands about, <laughs> you know. It's like, mm. oh, but anyway, you got to just find whatever it is in that that makes you feel that way so if it's listening to the birds then realize that it's listening to the birds so Yeah, that was probably a bad example because it's, it's so plain. But think about, I right, think about another example. Say if you stumbled upon that feeling through an occasion, you went to the park somewhere or you went to, um, so yeah, say you went to Six Flags, you went to an amusement park or some shit like that and you was with, um, some people and then, um, y'all was about to go on a roller coaster ride. All right. And then, oh, that could be a ritual. Yeah, say and then, nah, nah, so you got to think ahead, see, I was about to, nah, all right, well, Think about if you at the grocery store, all right, and you find something 
and you find something that's that's bomb as shit like that tastes good as hell it's like you know you like it and then and then you got it for a very good price it was the cheapest thing at the time all right so you was in the store and you bought it it was the cheapest thing at the time so it drew your eye and then you realized that oh this is something that's good all right i'm gonna get this and then you got it and it tasted so good and you just loved it for whatever reason so now you wanna now you would think that that's you could use that as a ritual i'm gonna go buy this thing and i'm gonna get happiness from that but really it wasn't the fact that like, because you could get tired of that thing. What if one day when you go into the store and you're trying to buy that thing, it's you're, you're, you're craving for that is you're going to get tired of that. Just think about anything you ever ate in hell a lot of. You get tired of eating that shit like that, you know, unless it's some plant-based shit. Because <laughs> I have not got tired of nothing. Of that. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, though, you get tired of, the, you know, the craving of that. And actually, even I have switched up. But I, I was wrong with that. I, it is even stuff I get tired of too much with the plant basic. But anyway, um, uh, so, um, yeah, though, your craving for that may die, all right? But that feeling that you got from that situation is still lingering around. But you wasn't focused on that. You was focused on a different part of it. And that's what I meant by realize what in what in uh what in the occasion is making that feeling come about i am for me it was the birds and all this i but for that it would have been the fact that it was the lowest price instead of it being you know what it actually was it may have only been tasting so good you may have only ended up liking it so much because you was kept you know backing it up with it man this shit ain't cost a lot either that shit cost less than all that other shit too so the the pro the solution for that would be, I right, I'm not supposed to be chasing that one thing. Let's just always go spend as least money as possible. Let's go, let's go, and um and find the cheapest thing. Like let's go find the best deal we could get. All right, you'll always and forever be able to feel good going to the store doing that, knowing that you got your best deal that you could get. Every time you went to the store, you felt like you got the best stuff. You'd be like, oh yeah. You know, that's just, or maybe you wouldn't. That's just a scenario, you know, that just so if you couldn't pick up my bird scenario, but that's what I mean. Like, you got to look at the scenario and be like, all right, what in this is making me, you know, so now you got a ritual. My ritual, well, your ritual will be, all right, boom, I'm about to get up and go to the store and we about to dissect this shit and we about to find the best deal possible and I'm going to finesse that. And we going, we going, you know, save bread, you know, and just, yeah, like that's, that's like, that will be how you will make a ritual. You know, yeah, how you would make a ritual, like, yeah. You gotta wait for that moment to where you feel like, damn, I right, bet that, you know, I could, that was lit. Like, all right, I wanna go, you know, do that again. Like, like, so now on a day when you're feeling like, dag, like, I don't even really got that much money. Like, I don't even think I should even go try to find a deal. Like, or I don't even think I should do this or do that. Or it might even be something that's not even involved in the same thing your ritual is. It's um, it's just something else. Like, I want to go, you know, work out. But I ain't got the right, you know, shit. Yo, I ain't got, you know, just something to get me started in the mood to want to accomplish stuff. Just go to the store, wander around be like oh shit that's less than that that's less than that that's better than that that ain't got that in it that's all right boom boom all right boom yeah i feel good about that hey boom so then you'll be like all right shit i'm about to eat this i'm about to do that motherfucker i'm about to you know da, da, da. then you'll fuck on you know and, I, and i'm not saying that that should be your ritual that's actually not a very um solid ritual because you got to spend money i'm just stuck on the money shit because i just did the money video <laughs> But um, you should, your ritual your ritual shouldn't involve money at all. I got something in my eye. But, but yeah, your ritual shouldn't involve money. That was a bad example, but that is a good example to explain what I mean by you got to learn what it is exactly that brings about the feeling because you can get distracted and you know be on a false you know something that's not gonna be everlasting. Because these birds right here, long as I'm here, long as the whole earth here, long as you know. I'm pretty sure birds is gonna be around. So, yeah, it's not the fact that I'm at my house or sitting in my car right now, or by these trees. No, it's the birds and whatever. I think those cicadas or something too. But yeah, 
Yeah, though, I got something. I, I got to take care of this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>